I'll start with the questions. Find the area of triangle with the vertices A, 5, 4, B, minus 2, 4, and C, 2, minus 6. We know that if we have coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, then area of triangle is equals to x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, x3, y3, 1, and 1 by 2. Half this is equals to area of triangle. So area of triangle is equals to 1 by 2, 5, 4, minus 2, 4, 2, minus 6, 1, 1, and 1. Now we have to solve this determinant. So operate R2 as R2 minus R1 for simplification. R3 as R3 minus R1. So 1 by 2, 5, 4, 1. Minus 2, minus 5, 4, minus 4, 1, minus 1. 2, minus 5, minus 6, minus 4, and 1, minus 1. Expand it along the third column. 1 by 2, 1 into minus 7, minus 3, 0, minus 10. All other terms are 0. So, 1 by 2, 10 into 7, 70, minus 0, 70 by 2, that is 35. Since it is area, so square units. 35 square units.
Now the third one. A triangle has its three sides equals to A, B and C. If the coordinate of the vertices are A, X1, Y1, B, X2, Y2 and C, X3, Y3 show that X1, Y1, 2, X2, Y2, 2, X3, Y3, 2 square is equals to A plus B plus C. B plus C minus A, C plus A minus B, A plus B minus C. अभी हमने previous question में proof किया कि this value is equals to 16 delta square. Area of triangle का हमारे पास एक और formula है. Area is equals to square root of S. S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Since A, B, C are the sides of triangle, we have given S is a semi parameter, half of side, sum of three sides. S is equals to half A plus B plus C. Now we have to find the value of S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. S minus A is half of A plus B plus C minus A. Minus 2A, so minus. 2a plus a minus a plus b plus c by 2 minus a plus b plus c that is b plus c minus a by 2. Similarly s minus b is a plus c minus b by 2 and s minus c is a plus b minus c by 2. Now put this value in the area. This is area delta if we are squaring it both sides. So what we get delta square is equals to S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Now put the value of S is A plus B plus C by 2. S minus A is B plus C minus A by 2. S minus B is A plus C minus B by 2. And A plus B minus C by 2. 2 2 in 4 times 2 that is 16 16 goes on left hand side 16 delta square is equals to a plus b plus c b plus c minus a c plus a minus b and a plus b minus c and 16 delta square is equals to this so this determinant is equals to this value Then show that A1, B2 is equals to 
A2 B1 Operate it R2 as R2 minus R1 and R3 as R3 minus R1 A1 B1 A2 minus A1 B2 minus B1 0 R3 minus R1 Expand it along the third column 1 into A2 minus A1 A2 B2 minus B1 B2 And this is equals to 0 because it, these points are collinear A2 B2 minus A1 B2 minus A2 B2 minus A2 B1 is equals to 0 this will get cancelled. So A2 B1 minus A1 B2 is equals to 0. It implies that A1 B2 is equals to A2 B1. Let P, X, Y be the point 
that lie on AB. If the point lie on AB, then it means that these points are collinear. So area will be equals to zero. Area is one by two. One three one zero zero one x y one. Expand it along the second column. One by two. One three x y. Y minus three x. This is equals to zero. So y is equals to three x. So three x minus y. If we take negative common, is equation. 3x minus y is equals to zero, which is the required equation of AB. Now, area of triangle ABD is three units. One by two, one three one. ABD point D is K zero. When two goes on right hand side, it becomes one three one zero zero one k zero one. Now expand this determinant along the second row. Then it becomes zero minus three k minus three k is plus minus six. So k has value minus two or plus two. K is equals to plus minus two. Question number nine and ten. You can try it by yourself. Not it down. 